This morning on The Dish, we are so pleased to welcome Chef Eric Bromberg. Over the last 20 years, Eric and his brother Bruce have built a thriving Blue Ribbon Empire. They now own 11 restaurants total. Their latest is Blue Ribbon Sushi. Is a Kaya, which just opened on Manhattan's Lower East Side. Eric joins us with his award-winning ultimate dish, northern fried chicken. Good morning, Great Chef. To see Good you. morning. Really so happy, happy to, to be you. here. Um, you work with your brother hand in hand. I do every minute of every day. And you plan all of this <laughs> out with him. Uh, we do absolutely everything together. Um, how did that relationship first develop into the business relationship, and and, and is that complicated? Um, I think it's immensely complicated, but we've had 45 years to work on it. And uh, the first 15 or 20 were filled with uh, some good brawls, but certainly since we started business together, it's been uh, the best thing in our lives. How long did it take you to come up with this amazing fried chicken recipe? Uh, you know, <laughs> How many tries? And whose uh, idea was it? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I would say both of ours. Um, <laughs> good move. It is. It's one of those things that we didn't really know how to make southern fried chicken. We're from New Jersey, so we'd eaten fried chicken, but it wasn't a family uh, tradition or anything like that. So we didn't know how to make it properly, so we just made it up on our own, and it came out one magical night, and that was it. By the way, are we being proper and using utensils, or is this hands? You know what, I, I think go. there's just sort of no rules go involved. I, I'd say mm -hmm. hands are totally cool. The most important thing is we have... Uh, our Blue Ribbon Mexican Honey, we have mm. a, a honey farm in Atlisco, Mexico, mm. and we have the seasoning is kind of a little salty, a little spicy, and then the yeah. honey, it's this magical sweetness that really makes it the greatest chicken ever. What is the secret to making the chicken itself the greatest chicken ever? Well, first of all, you have to have good chicken to start with. Just like anything you're starting with, you need the best ingredient you can get, and uh, you need to dry your chicken, clean your chicken, and then... We use matzo meal in hmm. our crust, huh. which uh, we have. We were making matzo, matzo balls one day, and we were like, hey, let's try it with fried <laughs> chicken, and it just worked, and it provides just an amazing crunch without being oily and greasy, and it's just uh, the perfect I like ingredient. that you guys are really not afraid to sort of push boundaries and sort of try new foods and, and areas. You're two, two yeah. Jersey guys, you uh, wouldn't think. Exactly. I mean, we, we uh, both of us trained in Paris at Le Cordon Bleu, and... We really learned structure and tradition there and then basic cooking techniques. And when we had the opportunity to open our own restaurant, we just loved the opportunity to live outside of the rules and not kind of follow any program. And people said, what kind of restaurant are you going to make? What are you going to make? And the only answer we come up with is a good restaurant. Exactly. And we made it for us, really. We made it for our tastes. And luckily, we seem to have universal taste. You're not focused. Out pretty good. You're not focus group testing this stuff. You're saying this, we're going to make focus food group. We're going to eat it. If we want to make it, we feel good about making it, and we think we can get, do a good job with it. We make anything on you know nothing's off bounds. Would right? you ever go it separately? Go it alone? <laughs> no. Not even a consideration ever. Uh, you know partnerships. Uh, you. We're just talking about marriages and all the different versions of those things. Mm -hmm. um, partnership is essentially the same thing. Um, my wife, Ellen, and Bruce and I started Blue Ribbon with uh, friends. There were 14 of us when we started 20 years ago. 11 of us are still together. Right. And the other three are still friends and just doing different things. But now we're up to over 1,000 employees, and it's just kind of an enormous family of people who love doing something together. Awesome. The plate. By well, the way, as, as you're shining the plate, tell us what the hummingbird drink is really quickly. We've hummingbird got drink left. is a perfect summertime light drink. Uh, it's kava yep. and Saint Germain, which is a elderflower liqueur and raspberries. And it's just kind of oh, light, fantastic. refreshing. It is, that is fantastic. It's a little sweet, but not too sweet. It's like the perfect uh, drink for men and women. Well, cheers to you, Chef. Thank you cheers. for coming cheers. in. Cheers.